Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, and today we are traveling back in time to the dawn of man with what I think will be a bit of a mini-series in this beta build. Dawn of Man is from Madruga Works. A massive thanks to the developers, first and foremost, for giving me access to this beta, for giving me an early access key. Uh, many of you will remember this game from my most anticipated city builders of 2019 list. The game is itself coming out in March of 2019, but it is available to wishlist on Steam right now if you like what you see. Uh, I'm hoping again for a bit of a mini-series. I've done the tutorial, I've familiarized myself with the game, but because it is a beta, I'm not sure if I want to, you know, go full steam ahead and try to do as much as possible, or if we do a bit of a preview and then I do a bit of a uh, sort of an overview video. Hopefully you guys will have a good time, and if you do want to see it continue at any given time, you know how to let me know. You just drop a like and a comment. Now, uh, to kick things off, let's just look at some of our options really quickly, and maybe I'll put a timestamp down below that'll take you to the beginning of our actual, well, you know, start to, of, of play. Uh, in terms of scenarios over here, you can see we've got a couple of options, free play, challenges, and community. That third tab already gets me excited, but first, free play is, you know, sort of a sandbox approach. You have a bunch of milestones that you can complete, and as you complete milestones, you'll unlock an additional scenario. And there are quite a few of them that are uh, planned for launch. Uh, as you can see, Ancient Warriors, you know, available soon, not even available in this beta. So that's nice to see, and, you know, there's a lot of longevity possible over here. Um, with challenges, we have very specific kind of, I guess, story arcs or, or I, I mean, as the... the, the name sort of gives it away. We have challenges to overcome. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any, you know, available yet, obviously. And under community, this is where things will get very exciting. I'm very curious what options will be available, uh, but this gives me lots of hope for the longevity of this game. Now, for this playthrough, for this mini-series, or, you know, if it ends up being a full series, depending on your interest levels, uh, we're going to go in with, of course, the only thing available to us, the Continental Dawn. Uh, this is my first time kind of really diving into this. I played uh, the tutorial, I familiarized myself with some of the, you know, mechanics, because there are a lot, and uh, and now we're going to dive in and, and have a good time, hopefully. Uh, settlement name is going to be, oh, man, oh, this is always the hardest, uh, Party Town. Alright, Party Town. So grow and evolve your settlement from the Paleolithic to the Iron Age. About 12,000 years ago, the last glacial period had just ended. This made most of continental Europe a lot easier to inhabit, human populations thrived, and the Neolithic Revolution started. A very interesting period of time for a city building game, especially considering it's before, you know, cities in earnest were really a thing. So I'm super excited for this. We have a couple of options for locations. What I think I'll be doing is, uh, um, I'll probably put myself right over here. Should be fertile grounds. You know, we, we have access to this large body of water over here. Seems like a place where someone might want to settle down rather than just a, a lake over here or close to the mouth of a river. You want to be further up, right, before somebody else, you know. The further down the river you are, the more chance that someone's peeing in the river above you. So let's go in with Party Town at the River Fork over here. Uh, let's go with Hardcore Difficulty, only one save game. Other tribes progress at their own rate, so they can actually be technologically superior to me. And uh, you do have to fight other um, tribes. Uh, I haven't got to it, but I know that that's a feature. <laughs> so let's begin and see how long we can survive. Uh, and immediately it says, don't expand too fast if you don't have the infrastructure to feed your people. Warnings right off the bat. Uh, I, I, there are a lot of really interesting systems in the game, a lot of interesting mechanics, at least from the sound and look of things. Um, I'm going to try and explain things as they come along, but a lot of it has to do with delegation of tasks. So, for example... Uh, you know, a river is a good place to go for fish. Uh, you're going to want fish to feed your uh, population. You can also go hunting. Uh, you can also build structures. There's all kinds of things that uh, need doing, including simple things like collecting sticks and flint to make tools before you go hunting. A very interesting approach. Uh, let's start off by, uh, by setting up an area for fishing. So let's go ahead and create a work area for fishing. And we'll cover these two tiles over here. And hopefully, you know, we can start collecting fish and make sure we get food sooner rather than later. It's a pretty important necessity, one would think. Uh, and as you can see, when we do select our 
individuals here, as long as I believe children, oh no, even children, uh, they have their necessities and they can die, they can get sick. The seasons change right now, we're in spring, but you know, as winter comes, uh, food will become more scarce, uh, animals will run away, things like that. So you have to prepare for the seasons. I think that's super cool. Uh, is such different challenges to worry about in uh, you know in this era that we're exploring, so that has me really excited uh, to see what the, uh, the the potential is. Now, for example, on the topic of unique challenges, gathering sticks. I don't know, don't know if I've ever gathered sticks in a city builder, but let's uh, set up a little work area over here to gather sticks, and uh, let's get some more people. Are you sure? Yeah, let's get three people here gathering sticks. And do we have flint anywhere? We do need flint for certain. Um, Tools, I feel like. Wow, is there really no flint in the area? Oh, there we go. Okay, wow, it's across the river, eh? Can we seriously not get there? Oh, there's some flint back here too. Okay, good stuff. Uh, there are some animals here. Hopefully they're not going to attack us if we get too close. Hmm. I'm, I'm actually... Uh, I'm very nervous about a lot of the systems in the game because the way the tutorial is set up, it does uh, it does scare me a little bit. Animals have their own behavior. Uh, some animals will try to protect their young. Some animals will straight up chase you down if you get too close. Uh, they rest. They hunt each other as well. So there's some pretty cool uh, mechanics and, and systems that overlap and interact, obviously, um, as time goes on. So we're fishing. We're uh, gathering sticks. We're gathering uh, flint. Let's get ourselves building for a bright future um so as you can see there are multiple you know uh, categories of buildings hopefully we'll be seeing a bunch of them as we go along uh, well rather we'll definitely be seeing a bunch of them as we go along first things first though uh we need for our survival really a crafter not only to help make clothes and all but also to help make tools what separates us from the beast do we already have a crafter here oh we do what do you know all right so let's get ourselves making Ooh, wooden harpoon for fishing. No, let's get ourselves making uh, some wooden spears and some bifaces. So bifaces are used for cutting. You can use them to actually get, uh, uh, well, to harvest and to butcher. And when you butcher, you get hide, and you can use hide to make clothes. It's all It all makes sense if you're a fan of, like, systems management and uh, sort of, I guess, economy management. Uh, things kind of... You feel a little bit at home. It's a city builder after all, right? So let's see if we can't get these tools done. Let's speed up time a little bit. Thank God for that. And, and I, li I like this touch as well. So we got Buddy over here coming in with the sticks, starting to work away. And we're going to have another person coming in over here, sitting down with his bundle of sticks. And he's going to start working away. And you're just going to be lazy and you're going to walk home. Great. I was hoping we'd see like all three of them working away. It's pretty cool seeing them come in. Okay, so this guy's coming in with, I guess, flint perhaps. He's going to sit down and he's going to start working. I don't know. It's just nice. Uh, you can actually track them. Each of them have their own needs and desires and, uh, you know, uh, limitations. If they start to lose morale, they'll start working less effectively. If they feel too cold or if they are hungry for too long, their health will start dropping and they can die. If people die, people lose morale. You know, just uh, systems that work nicely together. No storage slots left. Well, okay, that was fast. Let's kind of reduce number of people working gathering sticks didn't have that happen in the tutorial i feel like this is a lot harsher than the tutorial was let's make a couple more spears perhaps and a couple more bifaces and we'll go hunting shortly so this guy is coming down here with his little harpoon and he's fishing away come on buddy get us some good fish and the cool thing as well is oh perfect timing so we've acknowledged or acknowledged we've acquired knowledge by performing an activity uh, we've acquired enough sticks and as a result of that we have one new knowledge point knowledge points are used to research technology makes sense experience results in uh, the desire for better equipment better tools and so you research technology and as you research various things you move over to the next era like if i research pottery which will cost me 15 knowledge points i will unlock the mesolithic era and over here we get serial domestication that gives me the neolithic era so on so forth until the iron age so pretty neat uh, system of uh, technology there i would say uh, keep working away let's try and keep the store empty over here and maybe i could build i'd like to build a storage tent uh we, we need hide and wooden stuff for that or rather hide and sticks for that so let's go hunting for hide uh, we have some raw skin are you dangerous let's see so we've got this option to view oh no what happened 
Um, yeah, okay, I understand that. Why, is somebody not happy? Somebody already grumpy? <laughs> I'm already attached to my villagers. So, right, when we go into this kind of hunter mode, let's call it, because I forget the official name, we can see what kind of animals are available nearby, what might be more or less dangerous. Green is easier to take out. Uh, yellow and red is, of course, harder. Um, so it gives you an idea of what you may or may not want to hunt. Now, that is a glorious pair of antlers, which we might want to capture as soon as possible. So let's mark this animal uh, for a little bit of a hunt here. We've got spears available. Let's see what we can do. Gather some more hide, and then we can get another uh, storage, like, hut built. Are we getting... Are these kids working? Good on you, Girek. Girek. Ah, the world before labor laws existed. Gotta love it. All right, so... I wonder if we should speed time up a little bit. It is raining, so people's temperatures, if the systems work as I imagine they should, their temperatures, temperatures, sorry, should start to drop. They're starting to store food in their own huts. I don't like that. I go after that reindeer. I'm wondering if I should just build, uh, like a rock pile and a wood pile, because this is full, apparently. No, it's not full. Why aren't we using our piles properly? Crap. I lost track of my buddy. Where'd you go, friend? There you are. All right. So look at that. They're going to stalk over, start firing. Oh, that one ran away. That one got away. <laughs> of course, in the tutorial, they make it super easy to catch things. Damn. So we're going to keep giving chase over here. Where are we? Oh, they are giving chase. Whoa. Hang on now. Don't start taking too many risks. What the hell? Oh, my God. These animals are... Sorry. Uh, this is the first time I've seen anything like this. Are we going to manage to cut this thing down? Can we swim? We can. No, you're drinking. Why are you drinking? Kill that thing, damn it. <laughs> wow, that was uh, a pretty interesting. Reindeer has escaped. I, sorry, I, I'd never seen that, so wasn't expecting that. You know what we need? You know what we need? We need food that isn't fish. Let's, uh, where is, collect and harvest wild plants. There we go. There's some, I think, berries and stuff maybe to be had here, or flowers. Can we eat flowers? These just look like herbs. I want, like, berries. Some actual food. Hmm. All right, well, let's reduce the size of this a little bit. Start gathering from this area. Uh, now, basically, the point of this game is, of course, survival. You want to live um, as long as possible. You want to try and defeat other tribes. You want to try and thrive, obviously. And uh, right now, I don't know if we're doing the best job of it. We are getting smarter. We're trying to hunt. Hey, buddy, here. You too. Come on. Hunt. There we go. Stock on over. Give me a good shot here. There we go. Good hit. Two hits. Three hits. Four hits. There we go. Die. 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 Don't let this one get away. There we go. So now we got to go in there and butcher this thing. Hopefully some people are already assigned to the task. We're going to get two raw skin, three raw meat, and some bone. Now, buddy here, Emza, swimming over to get as much as possible off of that carcass. Meanwhile, back here, we should actually start building... Uh, a skins dryer to make sure we can dry those skins and, and they don't get spoiled too quickly. Let's get a couple of them set up over here. Um, we, should, we should hunt a bit more actively. We are a hunter-gather society. I've been gathering. I haven't been hunting. So let's get to work on that. And uh, let's also get... Uh, well, we've got our skins dryer happening. Let's get our crafter happening shortly thereafter. Uh, move you over to here. We'll have, like, skins drying over here. We'll dry fish and stuff as well. Hopefully, I'll be able to research that tech pretty soon. I need to get up to five knowledge points, and I can get food drying. And we want to get food drying before it starts to get too cold, and we and we lose access to the long-term sort of food sources. On which note, I don't know what happens to fish when, uh, when spring comes to an end. What are you guys up to? What are all these animals doing over here? What are you? A boar. How dangerous are you? Not. Okay, interesting. Wonder if we go chasing after more. Oh, they're so cute. I'm sorry. They're adorable. Right, and another thing in the game is that um, you can actually capture animals, as you can see, uh, certain animals to bring them back and domesticate them when you have the technology. Obviously, domestication of animals was a very important part of human evolution. So uh, that is an option. You can domesticate dogs very early on, donkeys, um, goats, cows. So pretty cool to see that there and on the topic of highlighting these little babies these adorable little babies uh some animals are very protective of their young so where they might normally cower away and run away if you attack their young they might actually attack you in response so that's pretty cool 
Uh, what else is cool is we've got this happening over here. We've got the skins dryer, you know, got skins on it drying away. I do wish the camera would get us a little bit closer. I'd love to get a little bit closer, uh, get, get nicer shots a little bit, but unfortunately that is not an option. I also can't look down or up. Another unfortunate, uh, thing. Hopefully it's an easy fix. Hopefully it's something that, uh, we'll see in the final build. Again, this is a beta. Let's keep that in mind. It's a beta. So... Apart from glitches and bugs, there are also incomplete features, obviously. We're waiting for two more pieces of dry skin. So hopefully this will be done soon. 64% each. And once this gets completed, we can use it to craft some uh, better... Wait, I didn't need a crafter. I already have a crafter. Damn. Cancel construction. That's not what I meant. I meant to build... Already making some genius decisions. A storage tent is what I meant to build. Let's rotate you over like so. Put our storage in one area. And uh, once that's all done, we, we've got uh, people picking up sticks. What's our population? Still just seven. So if you actually want more people to come, uh, your prestige, which is, I believe, this one. Yeah. So this has to be high. Uh, and that's increased by how happy people are, uh, the kinds of equipment you have, knowledge, technology, things like that. And then you have to actually build tents. And once you have space for people to live, they'll come and live with you. So we've got Hyde being transported over. It is really nice to see a, a great deal, in my opinion, at least of detail, uh, showing people, you know, moving equipment. It's not just a generic animation. They're not just little boxes or crates. They're actually carrying things from point A to point B. Distances actually matter, of course, as a result of that. So I'm, I'm a fan of all that. Look at this hardworking child. Good on you. Good on you. Nowhere on this tech tree are there labor laws, and for that I am very satisfied. We need one more knowledge. Let's see how we can actually get something a little bit faster. Complete three more tents, maybe. It's a good fast way to do it. Um, I thought there was one for drying enough hide. Yeah, if we dry five skins, we should get this soon enough. So we've already got two. This is three. Or five. Alright, we'll get there soon enough. And then we can uh, unlock food drying. We can get that set up hopefully uh, in time for winter. And I, I'm actually curious. I haven't seen fall in the game yet. And I would expect the colors would change quite nicely. Ooh, we have blueberries here. What are we what are we getting here? Pears. Oh, those those weren't those weren't flowers, they were pears. No storage slots left. That's because we're not finishing this off. Let's work a little bit faster here. By which I mean, let's speed time up a little bit. And uh, we'll watch that construction go down as well. So it's a very kind of like humble beginning, obviously. You're a small, and I wouldn't even call it a society, I guess. You're just a small group of people trying to make life work. You have to be very careful about migration patterns of animals and stuff as well. So you're really trying to be one with nature as, you know, we had to be or we you know can imagine we had to be back then and just watching the construction over here as i talk over it but it's just i don't know i i think it's really cool that we're getting a couple of games in 2019 that are centered around this era uh, i've always found it a fascinating era i find our evolution as a society and as a as a species to be extremely fascinating especially you know here where we had we had nothing i'm playing this on a computer i'm uploading this on broadband internet to youtube all this stuff, right? Like, this is where it started. Sorry. I'm rambling, but I'm fascinated by this stuff. Uh, anyway, let's get ourselves food drying. We want to get that as soon as possible. Like I mentioned, dry food lasts a lot longer. So with food drying available, what we can now do is build... Uh, no. Production. Okay. Food dryer. Well, we'll get a couple of these set up. Um, might as well put it in the same area, right? Put it here and close to the tent so it's not a lot of movement going on between places. Uh, let's put them sideways like this. With a couple of these. That is really annoying. The bit of lag while it was uh, auto saving did that for me. There we go. All right, maybe time to hunt something else. This thing's getting awfully close to me. I don't like that. I don't know what it's going to do when it gets too close to me. Um, let's go ahead and hunt. What do we hunt? What are you? Mouflon. What is a mouflon? That it, uh, it's a type of ram, I'm guessing. Oh, man, these these baby boars are adorable. I'm sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and mark this thing for the hunt. Now, what actually happens is when you mark something for a hunt, 
uh, your villagers determine how many people are required based on the difficulty of the animal that's been targeted, which is pretty cool. It, this game, again, is all about delegation. So you figure out, you put down these um, markers and say how many people you want working there or what the maximum amount of a certain good you'd want collected is, and then you, uh, you let people just do it. Um, you tell people to hunt, they'll go hunt, they'll figure it out, they'll figure out how many people need to go, what equipment they need. We might actually, I wonder if we need more. We got eight spears. We'll be fine. We got a food dryer as well, hopefully we can start getting some food up here. So we're curing meat and drying fish up here. Well, as soon as it gets here. Might need to speed up time a little bit. You're not going for the hunt, are you? Oh, you are. I thought that was a child and I was like, why are we sending a child to hunt? Just the one, eh? All right, we'll speed up a little bit. Really worried about that boar. How aggressive are adult mare boars? Very aggressive, aren't they? Aren't they like hyper aggressive? Oh, no, it looks like they're scared. There we go, stock in. This poor animal does not know what's coming to it. One shot. Oh, nope, two shots. Nice, very nice. So first animal hunted, Mufron. Knowledge plus one, and I'm just gonna go, we're gonna butcher it. Nope, that's not a, it's not a birch. We didn't just hunt a birch tree. We've got one raw skin, three raw meats, and some more bone coming in. Soon we can start looking into uh, bone-based technology as well, bone tools over here, before we can start using, you know, composite tools, getting stone involved and things like that. But I think the first thing I want to do uh, is dog domestication, because I like dogs. I love dogs. When you have dog domestication, dogs start to kind of come over, and they'll help protect the uh, the village and things like that. Supposedly, that's what the game's tool tips and all say, so that should be fun. And we'll, uh, I'd like to work towards, well, let's make sure we don't fall behind on our, on our you know, age progression, or our technology progression. So with food drying available, we're now going to be waiting until pottery can be unlocked before we can move down this path anyway. Um, well, that's cool. Required for water and well digging. There's the well digging. We got sledge making over here. The sooner we can get sledges, the sooner we can actually start transporting things more easily. It's actually quite interesting seeing uh, this system of uh, of tech progression. Oh, killing raiders, domesticating animals. Let's go ahead and build some tents. I feel like people are going to be more willing to come soon, hopefully. But they won't come if we don't have tents. So let's get ourselves some more tents. Maybe away from the drying food. I can't imagine. This is a nice place to live, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and set ourselves down where? What's a what's a nice place to live? By the water. Mm, easier access to the washroom, so to speak. Let's uh Let's see. Where do we where do we want to have our houses? This is not a bad area. You kind of live in this area, you move down to here. To get your food and stuff, sure. Let's go ahead and put a couple of these down. Want to like rotate a little bit, make it seem a bit more natural, I suppose. Nah. If I've got a grid, I'm I'm gonna be using the grid. We're putting three down over here. Hopefully, we'll start attracting some more people. And of course, there's more than just that way to bring people into the uh, into the village. There's of course more uh, local methods. Let's call it. Ending materials. Is it just one person gathering sticks? No, no, that's two people gathering sticks. We just need more people. We're, we're inefficient right now. Let's speed time up a little bit. See what we can do in terms of uh, immigration, as it were. There you go. We've got food drying. I do love... I just like when... Like, I don't know how to, how to word it, but basically I was concerned with these games um, not having visual fidelity at an acceptable level. I'm always worried... Just always am. I don't know, it's just the way I am uh, when I'm watching preview builds and stuff, but you know what? For a beta especially, this game's looking really nice. I do like the little details. I like seeing the uh, construction happening. The hunting is nice. The fact that they're stalking animations and it's not just people walking up to animals and shooting them. Uh, there's, some nice, there's some nice stuff going on. Oh, Vergor, we might lose you soon. You're an old man. How old are you? What does old man mean? Why do you not have any clothes? <laughs> Might need to, might need to make some skins outfits. Get some going before fall truly kicks in. Fall's got to be cold. We're at 27 degrees centigrade right now. It's a pretty nice summer, actually. Not bad summer at all. We need to get some more hide coming in. 
where all these animals go. Okay, we've got a reindeer over here. Wish I remembered how much uh, hide and meat and stuff we get. We got some wild donkeys here. Go ahead and hunt maybe some of these adult donkeys. That sounded like approval to me. Go ahead and do that and speed up a little bit perhaps. I need to play this whole game at speed one. Are we fishing? It doesn't look like we're fishing. Let's go ahead and get more wooden harpoons happening. It's just there's too much going on, I think. I think that's the problem right now. We're hunting this thing down. Are we gonna are we gonna get it? That thing's gonna get away. Don't let it get away, damn it. That thing got away. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Cancel that. No need to chase it any further. Surely we have something closer to home. Yes, hello. Oh no, that's a, that's a pear tree. Ooh, flax. So we can harvest this in fall. Alright, fair enough. And then over here, adult male wild donkey. I wonder if we try to pick off some of these younger animals because they're less likely to get away is my assumption. Ooh. The adult male is right there. Let's go ahead and chase after this wild donkey. Young female wild donkey. Hopefully you'll provide us with enough uh, sustenance and skin also because we are running out of uh, ran out of hide there. Need to be a bit more on top of things here. All right, let's speed it up a little bit. All right, what have we got going on? These guys are just leaving. That's not so good. Start uh, start drinking or something. Give me give me an opportunity to hunt you down. Cancel that. I think I need to reduce production on other stuff. That people will start. Well, it looks like we should be fine. We're just, yeah. I guess the a lot of the tutorial is played at speed 8, which I'm just kind of letting myself forget, I suppose. Alright. Hunt you down. Come on. Adult male wild donkey. Should have some meat on it. Definitely has some skin on it. Good enough for me. Let's get, you know what? While they're here, let's see what we can get ourselves. Got a couple people moving up, it looks like. Ooh, you've decided to come really close, haven't you? Uh, and now you've decided to go away. Let's hunt this thing down first. Come on. We got two of you. Should be able to do this. Come on now. No, no, a little early, damn it. There we go. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Everything else is kind of scattered, but... Oh, no, we've got an opportunity here. Come on. Damn it. No, don't let it get away. There we go. Wow. That sound was not a pleasant sound at all. But hey, we got it. That one's getting away. That's okay. So we've got, uh, let's see, four raw meat, two raw skin. And up here we've got three raw skin, four raw meat. So that's, that, that should be nice. Uh, hopefully people can... Uh, oh, animals are <laughs> scattering a little bit. Eventually, I imagine they will learn not to stick around over here. And it looks like we're getting... No, okay. I was wondering if we could like harvest any of this stuff over here. I guess not. It is fall now. The, the the colors have changed. That is absolutely gorgeous. Some beautiful colors here. Uh, but I'm terrified for the winter that is to come. Especially if we don't continue to build these goddamn tents. Can we please? Wondering if there is something better we should get. Or heat sooner. Or if we go with the doggos. Hey, you know, cuddle a dog. It'll keep you warm, right? They're fuzzy, uh. Fuzzy fur. Can we uh, work on this a little bit faster? I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> the seasons pass a little bit faster than I expected, perhaps. Wondering if we cancel the skin outfit, because we've got nine. We don't need more. Get the wooden harpoons done. Maybe somebody will go after the fish a little bit. Right, here comes some rain. Good old fall weather. Lots of hide coming in. Lots of meat coming in. Like hardworking children. Good on you. Good on you. You want to eat, you must work. It's really that simple. Can somebody... Um... 
prioritize the building. Gonna let this guy drop his thing off and then hopefully we can send him, like force him to get to work, perhaps. Perhaps. Looks like he is. There we go. There we go. Good job, Vergor. This poor old man. He's doing a lot of work. Hopefully, at some point in time, I'd love to be able to, like, remember all the names and faces. Grow to love these people. Right now, I'm glad that at least we're, uh, collecting meat and fish. Hopefully enough to last us long enough through the winter. I mean, seasons... I don't know. I, I, I'm not familiar enough with things yet to, to know exactly how long... A season lasts in terms of food consumption. But we'll we'll find out. A first winter is always a harsh winter, isn't it? I like this as well when they come in to eat. Ooh, a trader has arrived. Interesting. Okay. Flint dry skin bread. Who's making bread? Oh, okay. So obviously it's a barter system. So we can trade. Oh my god. Yes, let's let's get some bread. Pretty cheap. What can we give in return? Wow. Stuff isn't worth much compared to the bone tools. Nothing we have is worth anything. Here, we'll give you one skin's outfit for five breads. Or you know what? Give us Give us a couple logs. Why not? Just to make a trade happen. Where did you come from? And should I be worried of you? Where where did you come from? See no villages in this vicinity. Did he teleport? It is it is also an age of superstition. Of rampant superstition. Everything's explained by some crazy nonsense going on. Alright, let's go ahead and give ourselves now I could do the bone tools. They are better for, you know, performing all activities that require tools, but but I like dogs. Gonna go with it. Gonna... So much smarter to go with like a, a tanner or something. To have access to better, you know, movement rates and stuff like that. Or to save up and unlock the Mesolithic era as soon as possible. Like, do we really need dogs? Doesn't feel like it. But I feel like I'll fall behind. Oh, man. Let's have some fun here. Let's get the dogs. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. Alright. Winter is coming. We should probably hunt. Oh, Vergor. You old man. Always the one. You too as well, come on. Get this thing. Let's go. Let's hurry it up. I get this thing built as well. Ooh, that thing like saw us coming. And away it goes. Is it gonna get away? That looks like a nice bit of meat. Oh, you got stuck here. No, getting away. Damn it. We did get hurt though. Can we chase it down? It's not far enough away. Oh, we are chasing it down. Time to die. Come on, a couple more hits. Oh, you serious? There we go. Time to die, old buddy. What are you, what are you doing? Get back here. Finish this thing off. Lazy. Lazy old man. Alright, now winter is here, which is a bit troubling. Let's see how badly it affects us, actually. Like, how badly does it affect the fishing and everything as well? Almost out of fish here. Maybe we should stop fishing in this area. I don't know exactly how repopulation works per se, but for now I'm just going to move it. Move our fishing zones up to here. And... Try and maintain... Again, try and work with nature rather than uh, overcome it. Alright, so winter is here. It should be pretty cold now. Zero degrees. Oh man, does it does it really get colder than that? Got a couple tents. People seem to be happy enough. Prestige has gone up from 12 to 15. Hopefully that means people are actually going to start migrating. 
Yo, light up the fire, someone. Maybe not the child, but somebody should light this fire up. Otherwise, uh, it'll be trouble. Did they end up getting the thing? That uh, doesn't look like it. I think it got away. Oh, well. We tried. We tried, and that's what matters. Anything here? There. There's this Megalosaur Megaloceros? I've never heard of this animal. You too. Let's go. Face this thing down. One of you is a child. No. You're not a child. Alright, another plus one to knowledge, which is nice. We haven't got dogs yet, have we? Gotta keep an eye out for dogs, because if they come close is when we have to, I think, actually capture them to domesticate them. Come on, get this thing. Nice. That was an easy catch. Some meat, some skin. Wondering if we should actually send you guys in some more hunting first. Well, at least we're gathering knowledge a bit faster now. You two. Said. Okay, then. Any two that I can select. There we go. Let's get you up over here. Children cannot. They're both children. Oops. <laughs> what do you mean they can't hunt? Of course they can hunt. They're just being lazy. Right, let's get you to drop your nonsense off, and off we go to hunt. Hmm. I get one of these big beasties down. No, what do you? No, hey. Like they knew. Oh, would you look at that? It's snowing. So tranquil. So peaceful as this animal drinks. Snow slowly falling onto its snow. Oh nope, there we go. Ah, damn it, it's gonna get away. Nope, no, it's not. What have we got here? Two raw skin, four raw meat. All right, good stuff. Pick that up. Wait, you... What's wrong with you? You're cold. You're very cold. Hurry on back, old man. Hurry on back. Ooh. Now your people have no warm clothing. You think? Get them some clothes. Get them some clothes as quickly as possible. Need tanning. Oh man, this guy is not having a good time. Well, that's because he's basically naked. <laughs> Tried to get him clothes made earlier. Wasn't happening. We have enough. We have a dry skin over here. These skins are being dried up as well. 77%. 64%. Hopefully he'll have clothes soon enough. It is negative 2. Negative 2. Back when there was no central heating. This actually is quite beautiful. The climate changes are really nice. I do like that the uh, the structures have been covered by snow. I imagine these are very consistent. I imagine there's no... Like, there's obviously, I think, a gradient between snowed upon and not snowed upon, but I don't think it's, like, randomized or anything. Imagine these are, like, hand-painted textures or something. But winter is almost over. Winter is almost over. We're, like, it's, like, December. It's, like, my birthday right now, probably. We're moving on just fine. We have a lot of skins outfits. Why is that guy running around naked? He just died. No. Oh, hey, our population's increased. What do you know? And we've got some more knowledge available. Let's give ourselves... I think we should give ourselves uh, tanning. So that we can start looking at... Um, leather outfits. Something a bit warmer. That's probably what I should have done as opposed to dog domestication. If I'm perfectly honest. If I'm perfectly honest. And let's get our tanner set up. That's not what I meant. Get our tanner set up right over here. Next to the drying skins. That would make most sense. Can't imagine it smells very nice. You know what? I can't imagine anything smells very nice. Let's let's be real. No one's washing in these waters. Hopefully not in these temperatures. Negative two still. All right, lots of stuff drying. We have a fair bit of food and meat and fish left over, so we should be fine. I did miss harvest on that one. Oh, and you look at that. All the... Uh, I mean, obviously. I shouldn't expect anything less, but everything's kind of gone. And in we go to spring, hopefully... Okay, that's a little... Not as gradual as I would have hoped. <laughs> Still looks beautiful. It's not as gradual as I would have hoped. We've got enough bone. Hopefully soon we can get some more bone-based equipment. A spear, maybe we get some more... I don't, I don't think I want more fishing happening. Go ahead and get some... Leather outfits, I suppose. Leather outfits aren't as good for warmth. But then why would I... 
I guess that means they're better so you don't burn up in the summer. I suppose. Let's get some going, nonetheless. Probably sell them for a bit more as well. And of course, we want to have our knowledge ticking up consistently. Uh, we need a couple more storage tents. We could get ourselves another hearth. A little bit more hunting wouldn't be a bad idea. Population. Ooh, that's a lot of knowledge, actually. Or more population. Collect some more sticks. A hundred sticks. Jeez. All right. All right. Well, let's keep uh, let's keep hunting a bit more consistently. Oh, would you look at that? These guys have got to be dangerous. Yeah. Do we do we try it? Do we try it? There's two of them right next to each other. That's a little terrifying. Might be a terrible idea, or it might be a very entertaining idea. Are your your children? You're not. Wish I could. Oh, I can. I can shift select. There we go. No. Is that a dog? That is a dog. Oh my god, slaughter. I don't want to slaughter the dog. Alright, so we do have a couple of dogs showing up finally. That's nice. Um, how about not you, but let's go hunt. Let's go hunt this thing. Well, first of all, let's let's come up to here. Like, organize this properly. Right. With this high, high tier micromanagement right now. I get this hunt to happen without losing anybody. No, 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 no! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Damn it! Which one? This one? An adult female. So likely to be less aggressive, I suppose. Hey, all three of you! No, no, old man! Oh no! This could go terribly wrong. Oh god! It's going terribly wrong! It's going terribly wrong! Run away! No! 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 Run away, run away! <laughs> what was I thinking? Run away! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I knew the risks. Oh my god. This guy. Yeah, low stats. You're not no kidding. Okay, how do we how do we heal him? Does he just kinda like go back and eat and stuff and he'll be fine? Yeah, you're not no kidding, they escaped. Wow, uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Just go rest or something, buddy. This guy, this, who's not happy? Carlock's not happy. Is it because you're dying? Because you're old. Old. We don't know how old, but he's old. How can you be unhappy? There's a dog right here. He's about to eat, so that'll help a little bit at least. Hopefully that'll help his morale as well. Another interesting thing is that uh, there are structures to build. They're like spiritual structures that you can build to uh, help with morale. Maybe I should get a skull pole going here. A structured memory of the dead. Whatever you want to call it, skulls for the skull throne. Let's get them down where? Nice spot for these. Like up here. People actually have to travel to these locations, though, to reap their benefits, so hopefully they can travel up to here. It'd be pretty cool if we get a bunch of, like, skull... ...pillars, whatever we're gonna call them, <laughs> up over here. Quite nice, I think. Visually. But yeah, let's continue doing what? Let's see. These leather outfits are not happening. Because we don't have any... ...skin. Don't have enough skin, perhaps. Trying to figure out the difference between... So this is raw skin versus dry skin. Okay, so we don't want the dry skin anymore. So we're going to turn off continuous production. Turn off continuous production. Let's try and get ourselves some raw skin, some raw hide... So we can get some leather clothes happening before the next winter hits. Not about to slaughter any of our dogs. That is just not even an option. Ooh, we shouldn't be fishing this anymore. Should not be fishing that anymore. Let's go ahead and fish. Um, well, let's see. Has this area... Yeah, it has repopulated. Excellent. I don't know if that's because of... Um, I don't know if that's because of the season changes or because we left it alone for a little bit. But either way, I'm glad it happened. And uh, we're going to take advantage of that. 
What else can we do here? I don't think I need more tents. Look how many people can... Okay. Three people can live in one of these. We have plenty of space for more people to come if they wanted to. Buddy is still hurt, and I'm not sure... Okay, he is healing up naturally over time. Good. You know what won't hurt you? Fishing. Fishing won't hurt you. Don't do anything too crazy. Now, where are any animals nearby? This is scary. I'm not, I'm not messing with this nonsense again. Not anytime soon, at least. You and your family here. You're fine. You're safe as far as I'm concerned for now. Uh, we could gather... I'm gonna go all the way here for a hunt. It'll just run away from me. Way too far away. Maybe we just set up a zone to gather here instead. There's a storm coming. What does a storm mean? I didn't see that notification earlier, so I'm a little worried. Let's collect... Cannon. We need another log. Wow, okay, storms are serious business. This isn't uh, light rain like it was earlier. Are they going to catch fire because of a lightning strike? Goddamn, hope not. Alright, let's, um... Can I... Start collecting... No, I can't. I need composite tools to start cutting down trees to get logs. So that should be the next piece of uh, research we do. Wow, that's a couple steps away. Two steps of five, alright. Or, we can just trade with you. And get some more logs like this. Trade value of just two, eh? Okay, fair enough. I could get some bread off you. I could get some tannin off you. Oh, that must be what we need to make uh, leather clothes. Now, what can we trade in return? Give you some bones. I don't know if I want to give you that many bones. I'm about to research bone tools, so... Seems a little silly to give them all up. There. There we go. Works for me. Now leave. Be gone. Be gone. Alright, um... I wish I could actually see... Because I can't visually... Like, that looks like the same symbol as raw... Uh, raw skin to me. Anyway, on that note, what can we hunt here? You. Old female. Probably can't run too fast, am I right? Mark you for the hunt. Hopefully someone will head on over right away. And get some more meat. To eat. Got a decent bit of fish. That's good. Finished our tanner here, finally. So yeah, our tanner makes leather out of hide, and then that, I assume, gets turned into a leather outfit. Okay, that makes sense. Again, first time playing, so all these systems we're going to be learning as we go along, uh, and then in time for, you know, release or a review of the game, we'll have... Uh, we'll actually know all the systems in a way that lets us uh, optimize everything. But you know what? We've survived. We've grown... There's nine of us in Party Town. Got room for more. Our prestige is going up as well. Wonder if we don't build, uh... Maybe some more drying racks or something. Food dryer. Drying rack. They don't know what racks are yet. Get that down over here. Wonder if we get some more skin. Drying areas as well. That, this is not a pleasant place to live. I can't imagine this is a nice place to live at all. Alright. Speed it up a little bit. And we should go for some more hunts here. These guys are still dangerous as all hell. Have we scared off all the easy animals? There's more over here. What are you? Cave lion. Ha! No, thank you. Finally got that boar that was being chased down earlier, I suppose. So that's good. Uh, there's some easier hunts over here, but they are very far away, actually. Very far away. Something's got to migrate a bit closer, right? We're just at the end of spring. We'll see what happens during the summer. Hope these guys leave. 
was not very happy about what went down there. The other thing is, uh, once we get, like, bone tools and stuff, which is now, and then later we'll get composite tools. Composite tools? Composite tools? Uh, but they are better for hunting and fighting, as you can see, and for fishing as well. So, uh, we should probably start swapping those tools out. Got bones. We're getting sticks. Go with the bone spears first. We need that better hunting to happen. Okay, acquiring more bone as well. I do like the uh, technology progression system. It, it makes sense. Um, as you do things, you learn things, and you move on as you go on. It's also nice to see little things like people traveling to the nearby river to drink, or this guy wading across this river to fish from the other side, I suppose. Maybe there's better fishing to be had over here. Where are you going with that? Oh, did you just leave a fish down? What the, what? I'm not sure what happened there. I'm not gonna ask. As long as he didn't kill a child off in the corner over there, things are all right. Dogs are just kind of chilling over here. Supposedly, they help product, uh, protect the village. I like to believe that's true. Let's go hunt some of these boars down, please. Please and thank you. If we can get a couple people going over, get that done. Get some more food happening. And uh, once we get the composite, the composite, 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 keep thinking like compositing, like video editing. Once we get these tools, though, we'll be able to uh, start working with stone. Ooh, hunting and gathering milestone unlocked. And we've acquired 10 berries. We've taken our time with that, that's for sure. We finally managed to kill the animal we were chasing down. There it is. What are you? Oh, there's another one. There it goes. And this one's next. Oh, it's about to go down. Nice. Nice. I like it when things work out like that. Sure, yeah, let's just... Let's just do that. <laughs> Fair enough. This guy's tired. He should probably go back and sleep. But hey, if he wants to keep working, I'm not going to stop him. Not going to stop him. These guys are getting a little too close for comfort. Thought the dogs were supposed to protect our little humble village here. I think it's hilarious that they actually have animations for what's going on below the water, even though you can barely see it. All right, milestone unlocked. Oh, hunting and gathering. You now know the basics. Yes, yes, I do. Wasn't that a pleasant little notice? All right, so summer's going along. Fall will come again. Uh, we need to make sure we have everything we need. Warm outfits. We've got a lot of... Wow, we have a lot of skins outfits. More than we need. But I guess it's nice to be able to change your clothes around a little bit. Maybe we should get another storage tent happening as well. Um, not in a rush to use up our all of our hides and stuff, though. What else could we build for ourselves? Pretty soon we're going to work, start working stone. Hopefully, well, actually, it's right now. Go ahead and get this. So we get stone polishing, flint, spears, axes, and picks. So I believe, I imagine, that to chop down wood, we're going to need... That's for mining and fighting. That's for hunting and fighting. That's for wood cutting and fighting. So we're going to need some flint axes. And we're going to need some flint spears. But let's see, that's two stars for hunting and two stars for hunting with a bone as well. So they're, they're kind of interchangeable, I guess. But let's get a flint axe happening. Kind of weird that skins outfits are warmer than, I guess it's a thicker outfit. I mean, I'm just thinking about my leather jacket and it's a hot leather jacket. All right, um, what else do we have here? What else can we hunt? No, not these things. These are people. You're dangerous. I don't like dangerous things. I learned my lesson. I feel very much I feel very much in tune with human evolution. I went after something with horns. Thing with horns went after me. I'm stopping going after things with horns now, at least temporarily. At least temporarily. We should get more skull pulls happening. This this would make a really nice destination. Uh, spiritual item. 
another one up there. Someone will, will get up there and get it done. Fishing here is okay still. Good down there. This is all going okay, I think. You are still in continuous production. So you're going to be drying things, and then you take... And you tan it. Damn. Okay, so we're going to auto-repair. All right, good to know. Good to know that repairs happen automatically. I don't have to, like, micromanage. I like that there's very little micromanagement going on. Um, but at the same time, not having to micromanage kind of has me wondering at times, oh, what should I... What should I do next? Probably chase after... Knowledge. That would make most sense. Um, yes, I could build more skull poles. I mean, I've got them happening already. We need one more population for that. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's get two more f food dryers happening. That's like the most sensible thing for me right now, I think. Let's go ahead and put you down and you down. There we go. That'll give us a knowledge point and then we can get more. Wow, somebody came up here pretty fast and got that done. Get a couple more skull poles happening here. Oops. And I know this is not efficient. For the record, they need to be different kinds of buildings to maximize. Uh, basically, if a person goes to the same kind of building multiple times, it's less effective at increasing their morale again. But um, this is more for style here. Like, this is going to be the intro to our village. Bunch of skulls. The backlit skulls from down over here as well, so that's pretty neat. All right, I'm happy with that. Wasteful as it might be. The past was a time of waste. That's how we ended up where we've ended up right now. As right, so we're getting logs over here as well, it looks like. Yep, yeah, so the wood cutting's happening. Now, again, we have to be careful. Like, the... I think there's probably, yeah, a harvest area or something that demarcates where we can cut things down. Um... That's for collecting tannin, right, for cutting down trees. So let's, um... I'm trying to be sustainable. Let's cut down these trees. We're going to have to clear this area out anyway, so let's start cutting down these trees. See what we can do about that. Get two people working on it. And we have a trader here. Uh, spirituality. How can you trade in spirituality? Got pulses, though. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I want to get rid of, if anything. Wow, 150. No, thank you. Keep your religion, Vora. Keep your faith. Pulses are not too expensive, so we can trade that for some cured meat. And some dry fish, perhaps. There. There we go. Off you go, and let's see if we can't get ourselves some more meat before winter sets in again. All right, knowledge plus three. We're almost at another step here. I am not about to hunt you. You're safe as far as I'm concerned. Seems like they've learned they're safe in this area as well, actually. No animals down here, eh? Oh, we've got a bunch down here. Long way to go. Long way to go, but probably worth it. Let's get the three of you. Coming over this way. Some of your people have no warm clothing, really. How did that happen? How does that happen when we've got 12 skins outfits? Why are you wearing a leather outfit? This guy's really eager to go out for this hunt. He's in a skins outfit. He's in a leather outfit. Why? Why? I think it's just probably warning me because temperatures are going to start getting colder soon. But they're probably not cold enough to warrant them, perhaps? Maybe. We've got the Tanner working away. Supposedly. Well, no, we know he's working away because we've got some, uh, some leather outfits already. Look at that. Our population's grown. And I didn't even realize. Okay, hopefully this hunt gets concluded pretty soon. We've got the three of you heading over... ...here, right? That's pretty small. We can probably hunt something a little bit bigger over here. Get the three of you... Over here instead. 
pretty cool seeing the animal flies. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of nice visual touches that I guess I wasn't expecting in this game. I'm quite happy. I am quite satisfied. Ooh, no, I wanted to get a nice little shot here. Even just seeing that shadow. Yeah, anyway. Getting distracted too easily here. A lot of wild horses we could probably hunt down. They're a little far. Uh, they're not too far, actually. I wonder how badly I need that meat. Not very. We're fine. Let's get some bone spears happening. Bone will be on its way soon. And winter's about to hit again. Hopefully we're not caught uh, with our metaphorical and literal pants down. That would be quite unfortunate. I need to get some more skin. Need to get some more skin quickly. Hunt you down. Just because uh, once winter hits, we want to make sure that everyone's got clothes. We only have 12 outfits, 14 people, a capacity of 15, so maybe I should actually get some more tents happening as well. Oh. Hey, first time I caught that happening. Uh, I'm wondering if it's time to actually save up and get pottery so that we can start uh, taking a look at grain processing and things like that. Stone polishing even. Just before we get sling making. I'm not in a rush to get archery or fortifications. Perhaps I should be though. Perhaps I should be. I don't know how aggressive other tribes are going to be. Wild horses escaped. What, did I send a child to hunt? Mm, where do you go? I should send you to the slaughter. Go hunting some of these lions or... Yep, those are lions. I didn't mean it. Um... Yeah, these horses got away. They're pretty far off. Did we manage to close the gap to whatever we were chasing down over here, at least? Um, what are you doing? Oh, we must have killed something down over here. Are these, there's just a bunch of children. There's just a bunch of children swimming, g deep diving, and picking up meat in the middle of this river. What is wrong with our people? What is wrong with our people? Oh, man. All right, well, you know what? I think with winter coming in now and temperatures beginning to drop again, this is probably where I'm going to call it a session today. It's a very slow-paced game, this one. Um, it's unlike uh, Foundation, for example, which moved a little bit faster. It's a lot more of a calm and soothing game uh, with a lot of micromanagement taken out of your, taken out of your hands. Uh, I don't know, it feels like uh, you sort of tell people what to do and... They do it, and you just watch them, and every once in a while, they'll pick a fight with something with horns, and you pay the price for it. But uh, we're doing okay. We've got uh, 14, a population of 14. We have another step of research available, but I think we are going to try and enter the Mesolithic Era at the beginning of the next session, or as early as possible in the next session as possible. Uh, hope you guys had a good time, and if you do want to see more of this game, let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. Uh, let me know if there's anything I can do to improve your viewing experience as well, if there's something you'd like to see me try, if you have any questions, all of that stuff. Drop it all down below, and uh, maybe we make this into a mini-series like I said. For now, though, it's maybe sitting as a standalone as I play the game on the side, get a better opinion of it, and then make a bit of an impressions video, perhaps. Nonetheless, as always, I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. I'd like to thank you, of course, for watching. And until next time, cheers.